guys, welcome back to my channel where we talk all things canvas. In case you're new here, my name is Lauren and I am the canvas queen. Right now, as this video is being published, so whether you're watching it later, that doesn't really apply to you, but if you watched it right after it was published, I'm at InstructureCon filming all the exciting things. So stay tuned for that to see what it's like to go to InstructureCon. And of course, Instructure is the company that created Canvas. So very exciting stuff that I'll be sharing soon. But in today's video, I just kind of wanted to update and give you a quick tutorial on how to create a really nice looking Canvas homepage with using Canva in Canvas. And it's super easy, super quick. In Canva, you can create beautiful images that you easily upload into Canvas that create a wonderful, great looking page and you can customize it to whatever you want. Of course, before we get into the main part of the video, I would absolutely love it if you liked. If you haven't subscribed already and stick around for a while, I would love that if you joined the Canvas Queen family. I also just want to let you know that I have started a newsletter where I send you guys all of my stuff, uh, like tips, tricks, I send you emails when I publish a video or when I'm having a TPT sale, all of that cool stuff. So uh, if you want to sign up for that, I'll leave the link below. Alright, let's get into the video. Now to create a great looking, engaging course homepage in Canvas, we're going to start using Canva. So Canva, if you're an educator, you can get a free account. And we're going to start over here by, once you've created your account, create a design. And I'm going to be creating a banner for my classroom. So I'm going to steal uh, <laughs> the Google Classroom banner header. And you'll notice that there are so many templates for a great header for your course. Now let's choose, I really like the look of this one, but I don't like the fact that it says, what are you reading? So I'm going to change this to welcome to, let's say ELA class. Perfect. Okay. And now I kind of have like an overall theme that I like, but to start, I'm going to download this as a PNG file. PNG files are just kind of crisper than JPEG, but completely up to your preference. We are now in Canvas and to create a page and add it as a home page, we're going to go over to pages and click new page and we're going to title this home page Ooh, pager page <laughs> okay so since i've downloaded the image or the banner to my computer i am going to go over here to the image icon click down and select upload image and it should be in my most recent for today awesome we're going to click ok and then submit and now we have a wonderful banner. Now the great thing is that I can actually like adjust this to the size. Every device that you'll use is different. So depending on the pixels, it could get a little bit smaller or larger if the students are looking at this on their phone or a different Chromebook size or a MacBook. It's gonna look all different based on devices. So the way you get around this is you're gonna click image option and we're going to go from pixels to percent. And what this means now is on whatever device we're using, it will be 100% across the page. So it's gonna shrink it or make it larger depending upon that display screen. So that's kind of a nice thing. I don't like to do 100%. I like to actually make it just a little bit smaller. And so I'll do like 95%, click done. And then you'll see this currently is to the left. So all I have to do is make sure it's selected, which it is, go over to my three dots, and then click 
center. And now I have an awesome welcome banner. So I can save this. And this is what my course looks like so far. Now let's add some buttons that I will be using. So let's say I want to stick to a similar theme with this banner. I'm actually going to come up here and do resize so I can start creating buttons. So I don't want them to be as wide. Uh, so let's make it instead of 1920, let's do 1080 and see what that looks like when I click. So actually, let's move me over here. When I click copy and resize. So now it's kind of adapted to a smaller size. And I'm actually going to take all the elements in here and spread it out. So now it's going to appear like a big button. And we have our image here that I'm going to get rid of. And I'm going to get rid of this text. And we will just use the text from before. And I'm going to write, let's say, reading. So I've made the text bigger. I decided to put it on the left side this time. And now I want to add like an icon that represents reading. So I've typed in reading here and I can scroll through all of these lovely things. This book, because it kind of goes with the colors. So I'm going to leave it like that because I'm going to add a reading button that will link to a reading module. Um, now I can actually, before I do that, let's duplicate this. And now I can do, let's say, writing. I like this one. It kind of goes with the colors as well. So you can make this a little bit bigger. All right, so I am just adjusting fonts and color and adding different elements to these buttons here. And I just wanted to speed this up so you guys could get like a central idea of what it looks like and what my process is. Okay, so I've, I've finished all of the buttons that I'm going to use for my class. And I'm going to now share and download them again as a PNG. And it will download each image separately as its own individual file into a zip file, which I will open, which I got right here, which is great. And now I'm going to return back to Canvas right here to my page. We're going to click edit and start placing in our buttons. Now there's a couple ways to do this. The first way to do this is to, you can add a table. That's one way that I've shown it in the past. But then if you add a table, wrong place where I wanna add a table. Here we go. Adding a table like so. Now the only issue with tables is that accessibility with um, any like screen reader can be kind of complicated. So I know a lot of people have in my comments have like yelled at me for this. They're like, it's not accessible. Tables are not accessible. It is completely up to you as the teacher. Um, I think on a home page, it's not that big a deal. I do think where you're gonna have content with lots of lots of pages, it might be um, a big deal to include tables with text. But again, completely up to you. So I'm going to show you um, both ways. So again, the first way is to add a table and then highlight the entire thing. Go to your um, advanced table properties and we're going to make the border color white. So and then actually you're going to reselect it again and go over to your table and go to cell properties. Go to advanced. We're going to click the color white, which then it makes the entire table, oh, white, which didn't actually work. Hmm, cell properties, border color, oh, solid. There we go. Now it should work. Bada bing, bada boom. And it's disappeared. Oh no, no, it's still there. Okay. So now when we um, go, you can still see all of the cells as I have kind of pushed through it. We're going to go to images, upload images, go to that lovely file where I have all of my images placed and we're going to enter them in. Now again, now that we're in a table, I'm actually going to go to image options and do 100% just so it goes all the way across and like the width of it 
is also at 100%. And I'm just going to repeat the process here. All right, last thing that I'm going to do, you can actually see, it's, I know it's kind of hard to tell, but this table is le like aligned on the left side. So I'm going to go to table properties again, and where it says alignment, we're going to click center. So not everything is going to be centered, and I'm going to click save just so we get to see what this looks like, and I'll make myself smaller real quick here we go so now we have this great looking you know banner and all of these current buttons that currently don't work because they're just images <laughs> but we can then of course at any point click edit and also like if you want to break up your banner from your buttons i would even do like a welcome message so like welcome to class and just write maybe a little bit about you know what your class is about okay and then so how you would create a button is you will click on the image you will go to links you can do an external link or a course link now since i don't have any content in this course because it's just a blank demo course um, there won't be anything here, but you can select it for modules. So like that module button, we if you created module one, you would link it to module one and it would take the students there. If you have maybe like a page with a reading assignment or a reading agenda, you could link that there and so on. The possibilities for all of these links are endless because again, you don't have to do just Canvas course links. You can also do external links. Okay. So that's like the first way with the table for alignment. Um, the second way, so actually, let's just go to all pages real quick. I'm going to duplicate this page and I'm going to delete everything off of this real quick. So I'm just actually going to select the table here Oop. and we're going to click delete it. So now I have actually all of the images within the course. So I'm just going to upload or insert them because I already uploaded them. So I'm going to <laughs> insert them um, one by one. So I'm going to actually start with modules. And what I'm going to do with this one is since we are working in thirds here, I'm going to do 33%. So now it is aligned 33%. I'm going to now insert my next one which would be module two and we're going to make this 33 percent so now it's going to show up right next to it i'm going to click right next to that one where my cursor is and we're going to go again to course images select it image options percent and we're going to do 33 percent done so now you can see they are all the way across so when i save i'll leave the other ones for now uh it's all the way across because we did 100 divided by 3 33 percent and now we have them like this now if you don't like it because they're so close together you can allow for some spacing in between so i will do that where i kind of have to adjust like so Maybe that's all the spacing that I need in between them. And there you go. Pretty cool that you can do it like that. And there's no tables and it will still like you'll see it, it, it will adjust based on the page, which maybe you don't like that, which is why the tables are kind of nice. There is another way you can do it with code, but I'm going to save that for later because that's a little bit more advanced and takes a little bit longer to do or show. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that is how you can create a basic homepage quickly. That looks really nice. One last thing that I will show you. So to make this your homepage, you do have to hit publish. And then you need to go to the three dots and click use as a front page. So now when I go to my homepage, click home. Oh. It's, it's actually has modules as the front. I'm going to click choose homepage, front as, or pages, front 
page, which that is such the weird wording in structure canvas. Kind of weird. Anyway, moving forward, we click save and now here's my home page. So yeah, that looks great and it's really easy. Didn't take me that long at all. You can customize all of the buttons. Definitely would utilize Canva, but as you've probably seen in my previous videos, I've used uh, Google Slides and created images that way as well. So the possibilities are endless and I hope that you enjoyed watching this. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope that it was helpful and you learned how to create wonderful, beautiful home pages in Canvas. Now, of course, if you ever have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or of course, you can reach out to me on any of my social media pages. I, and again, I'm so excited that right now as this is being aired, I'm at InstructureCon. I'm so excited and I can't wait to show you all the amazing things that occur there. So again, stay tuned for that. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one.